guys it's your girl yammy and welcome back to my kitchen so i'm in my kitchen that means i'm gonna do some baking and i'm about to make a chocolate chip cheesecake oh. <laughs> how can you not love cheesecake so so far my my steps have been and i've already prepped some of my stuff was to grind up oreo cookies I put sugar in with them and now I got to put a stick of butter in there, get it all wet and then put it inside my spring form. So that's what we're going to do now. Um, I'm still waiting. Everything's got to be room temperature. So I still have probably a half hour to go before I can mess with the um, sour cream, the cream cheese and the eggs. Those have to be all room temperature. Bake. Turn my oven on to 375. And now we're going to grease the bottom of this and then put this, put the Oreos on the bottom. I'll show you guys how to do that. Okay. Stick of butter. We're going to pour that in there. I probably have more Oreo cookies than what I need it. But that's okay. Just keep mixing it all together. It gets it all wet. All right, now we're gonna go ahead I've already sprayed the bottom of my pan with some um, non-stick spray. So I'm going to go ahead and just dump it all in there. I'm going to use my fork first and kind of press it around. It's it's quite thick um, so I'm going to go up the sides with it but what I'm going to do got a half a cup measuring a half a cup measure a measuring cup a half a cup of measuring cup oh that did not come out right you know what I mean get a measuring cup any size um, a cup a half a cup I wouldn't do a cup I would say half a cup you can use your hands too ahead and push it up the sides just a little bit all right Alright, now we're, once the oven gets hot, we're going to put this in the oven. And we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to, the only, the only ingredient that I do not have is vanilla beans, a whole vanilla bean. I don't have vanilla beans. I only have vanilla extract, so that's what I'll be using. But once we put this all in here, we're going to press it down halfway up the sides, spring pan, okay. Okay, this will bake for eight minutes and 375. I'm gonna try to push it up the sides a little bit more. They say a nine inch, I actually have a 10 inch here, so. This is just a little bit bigger than a nine inch. All right, 
There we go. All right, so while I'm waiting, and this is still getting to room temperature, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the sour cream. Put everything in my bowl that needs to go in. out while they're still kind of cold because they come out of the package easier if they get too much into room temperature they don't come off the package as easily so, all right all three in there instructions say to do the cream cheese sugar which I need a cup a cup and two teaspoons okay let me see here um a cup and two tablespoons so we're gonna go ahead and put a cup of sugar in one two three and two tablespoons one two and then I have to add in two tablespoons of flour time now since I've had this out so I'm gonna and you really want to beat this down so you want to let it Gonna keep scraping down the sides. Go at a medium um, speed. It kind of knocks it off the paddle. We're just waiting for this to get very smooth, but you don't want to over beat it either. So I'm scrape down the sides. All right, look at how creamy that looks. You can just see the creaminess. But we're going to go just a tad bit longer. I still feel a little bit of grit from the sugar. Alrighty. Now that that's done, we got to add the eggs one at a time. And I've had them sitting out getting the room temperature okay I'm gonna scrape down the sides again You want to go at a low speed when you do the eggs so we'll put in the three one egg at a time there we go
separate it, then I'm going to add in another one. Okay, scrape down the sides and add the last egg. down now we're going to add in three quarters cup of sour cream that's been at room temperature vanilla and they want the vanilla beans but um don't have the vanilla so add in vanilla well it's one and a half tablespoons so let me pour just a pinch more there we go close to this way now what we're gonna do and add in chocolate chips. All right, let's say a cup. So I got mini ones. Now we have to fold in the chocolate chips. All right, so it's been eight minutes. I pulled it out of the oven. Then I had to turn the oven on up to 450. And once it gets to 450, that's when I'll put the, the cream cheese mixture in here and put it in the oven. But I'm gonna wrap it in a foil and water is going to go on the bottom of this so it, it will cook in water but you put the foil along the bottom to keep from leaking all right so i've wrapped it in foil i don't have water in here yet some butter had dripped out of the bottom of the pan and so my oven is smoking Woo! so now we got to put the cream cheese um filling in here
spread this out. Now what I'm going to do is it's going to go, this recipe is different than some. I got to put it in for eight minutes, leave the door closed, reduce the oven to 200, let it bake for 50 minutes, turn off the oven again, do not open the oven door, and leave the cheesecake in the oven for one hour. So it's about a two hour cooking. So... I'm gonna go ahead. Ooh, smoking. I should have put a pan underneath and I didn't. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this here. I have a measuring cup with hot water in it. And then I'm gonna move this back to the middle. Alright, now we're going to let it cook for 8 minutes and then once the 8 minutes is up, we go down to 200 degrees and set a timer for 50 minutes. Okay, so 8 minutes are up, now we're going to take the timer or, and go down to 200 degrees. I didn't open the oven. And then the timer, I'm going to set for 50 minutes. There we go. And we'll be back in 50 minutes. So now we're at the last part. The oven's off. we got to leave it in for one hour. So I've got 48 more minutes to go. And then I'll pull it out. All right. One hour in the oven off is just about done. Now we let this sit for two hours. All right, now it's been sitting here for two hours. It's completely cool. I am going to wrap it up And now this is going to go in the refrigerator for six to eight hours. So we'll finish this up tomorrow. Well, good night. Hello. Good morning. Um, good afternoon and good evening. <laughs> That's how long it's been since we talked about the cheesecake. Um, it's been in the oven, I mean in the oven, oh my goodness, it's been in the fridge since, for 24 hours. 
So now I am finishing it up. And to make the ganache, I took a half a cup of whipping cream. And you put it in a pan, heat it, simmer it till it's simmering. Then you're going to take seven ounces of chocolate in a bowl. And then you're going to pour the, the simmering heavy whipping cream on top so it's going to look a little like this and you let it sit for about five minutes and then we'll start in the middle all right i just had to keep mixing it so i didn't add anything else to it now it's, it's combining but you just keep going Look at that. And it's starting to get thicker. See the shininess? And you had to put a pinch of salt in it with it too. So after I put the cream in it, then I did the pinch of salt. Alright. Yeah, that's thicker now. Alright, so I lifted up and took the cheesecake out and I have it up on a mug. So I'm just going to slightly They want it to go down the sides. I don't want it to go down the sides. I don't want it making a mess. So, I'll see if I need to add more. We'll just kind of spread this around.